good morning to everyone i uh, invite all the students to this one day workshop on design thinking critical thinking and innovation thinking the name itself the name itself suggests that the main concept about this workshop is thinking so how we are going to face a problem what is the solution we are going to provide that for that problem and how it is going to use useful for the society so this is what the main intention of this program so critical thinking design thinking and then innovation thinking so all these things lead to a useful product for the human society in a very efficient way and i invite our resource person dr leela vinodan sir for this workshop and i'm sure that you'll be benefited from this workshop and i also thank our director sir dr vsk reddy sir and our principal dr shrinivas rao sir and our dean sir dr t venugopal sir for their support and constant guidance thank you thank you very much ma'am now i'm going to give a brief introduction about today's speaker dr v leela vinodan sir he is an associate professor in department of mechanical engineering director for center of skill and career development sir has done his phd in Pro process intensification he transferred in 2017 at shastra university tanjavur and mtech in nuclear engineering in 2012 at shastra university as well also be in mechanical engineering in 2008 at sri ramanujar engineering college chennai which is well known as anna university sir has inspired fellowship in department of science and technology government of india 2013 to 17 he is currently working as associate professor in department of mechanical engineering academy of maritime education and training amet deemed to be a university in kanatur chennai his his research interests are microfluidics energy management nanofluids and 3d printing leela vinodan sir has contributed much at the conference proceedings such as international conference on green technology and nano india he also has indian patent for new micro channel heat sink for thermal management of devices now i would like to request dr v leela vinodan sir to begin the session Yes, I hope I'm uh, visible to all. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Can you please remove your mask, sir? Yeah, yeah, just on it. Since uh, see, we are in a uh, COVID situation, so I thought yeah. of. Uh, giving awareness okay generally we used to be in the mask in the university definitely i will uh, remove it thank you so shall i start yes sir yeah thank you so i don't know how many of them uh, are uh, looking at me so i am seeing only three members in uh, the screen so um, very good morning to one and all so this is a very happy morning to me to address you all and especially in this uh, pandemic situation and then moreover uh, after getting over this pandemic situation still we are in the online era that's why we conducting this particular workshop in the virtual platform so thanks for the technology first of all yes <clears throat> shall i share my screen yes sir Yeah. 
Let's hope the screen is visible to you all. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is uh, the invitation. I think hope you might have all uh, received it by yesterday, right? And uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, the lady who introduced me. So, uh, no need of uh, self introduction. So, let me straight uh, jump into the session. Okay. Right. So, design thinking, critical thinking, and innovation design. See, these words are a buzzword, right? Whenever you go to buy a new car or a new product, so these things are the words which is been used so many times before the product reached your hand, right? Okay, so hope everyone uh, like to solve problems. How many of you uh, have solved uh, this Rubik's Cube? So any uh, reply? Uh, Madam, uh, please, uh, anyone uh, be a moderator so that it will be easy for me to uh, get the reply. Yes. Okay, done. So, <clears throat> hope everyone uh, knows this particular game. Four pictures and one word. Can you please tell what is common in this? I think uh, definitely nature, that would be I guess. nature, I guess. Nature, okay. Uh, any uh, answers from the audience? Sir, they did not connect to the meeting, sir. They were re just listening to you in the project. Okay, okay. Then it is fine. <laughs> but any of uh, they will be uh, seeing the answer, right? So is that audible to you? If they answer, whether you can uh, say it to me. Sir, uh, students can answer your questions through mobile, sir. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Then it is fine. Okay. <clears throat> then it is fine. So let me uh, show the answer uh, for them all. Okay. I think if chat is enabled, then they can uh, uh, give the answers through chat also. Yeah, perfect. Yes. I request everyone to join through the Zoom link and you can reply your answers through chat box. Sir, just give us two minutes. No, not an issue, not an issue. So you can continue. Yeah, okay. All right. The answer is R. The common thing among this four picture is air. Air balloon, air bubble, aeroplane is uh, in the air and then open air stadium. Okay, All right. Let me move on to the second one. So I think this is pretty much easier. What is the common thing among the sport picture? What is the common thing among the sport pictures? And have any answer? Good. Yes, sir, they were saying code. Yes, exactly. It is right. It is code. Okay. Then how about this? Pumps. Yes, right. So uh, I think I should have chosen a, a, a difficult one rather than this, right? Okay. <clears throat> See. <clears throat> The common thing among the four pictures, what I've showed earlier, 
you can able to relate it right so how we are relating what makes the process pretty easy for us since we are doing it in our day to day life right creating our brain yes exactly see in our brain there are uh, so many connections interlinks neurons are interlinked and uh, the electricity is passing between one neuron and another neuron signals are going in right so we know how to bring a common thing among these pictures when we are seeing our brain is processing and then it is creating a connection and the, the details what are what and all that we have already seen and then what we have read it in the our uh, books and out of our experience we have some kind of knowledge on it right through that we try to connect even though if we don't know the exact answer but when we are looking at we will try to find some sort of a logic what is common among the four pictures right okay so <laughs> there is a difference between uh, creativity and uh, innovation right what is creativity and what is innovation in most of the cases these two looks uh, looks pretty similar but it is not the creativity is act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality okay so new and imaginative ideas for example i uh, give you a situation uh, that you are in a uh, moon okay right now you are in moon then i am giving you uh, a 10 rupees i'll ask you to go and buy something what will be your answer number 1 2 3 4 any answers okay <laughs> see the situation what i gave you is you are in a moon and i i'm giving you 10 rupees and i'm asking you to buy something number one. first point that you have to notice that in moon i don't know whether any kind of shops available okay and moreover the amount of what i said is 10 rupees i don't know by the time when you are going to the moon what kind of a, a currency they use okay but if the same question if i ask to a child what happens he will be giving or she will be giving the child will be giving n number of answers it will give more number of possible options right instead of thinking uh, uh whether uh, there uh, will be some sort of a shop available in the moon otherwise this currency is uh, uh, usable there or not it will start giving the answers okay so we have to go out of the box that is creativity right and moreover turning the new and imagination imagination is very very important right right now we are not in the moon but i am asking you to imagine that you are in the moon and you have to feel that you are in the moon and then you have to say the answer from that situation when you make it as a reality then the creativity cycle completes then what is innovation turning a new concept into commercial success or widespread use okay see we have so many uh, concepts right whenever uh, uh, we say problem we have so many solutions and we have lot of concepts which we can utilize to solve the problem but now in the 21st century okay the innovation means it is not something only in concepts it has to be commercially success also and it has to be used widely 
doing new new things is innovation okay but to complete in the present scenario it has to be commercially success okay right so then what is the difference between this critical thinking and then uh, design thinking so design thinking is a process basically a human centric process keeping the human at the center and then arranging all other aspects around it and then if you are doing a design if you are coming up with a design then it is called as a design thinking it is a human center right it is not something object oriented or material oriented there is a thin boundary between this critical thinking and then uh, the design thinking okay it have so many common things but we have to be very clear which one we have to choose why we are going for design thinking what is the difference see we have three circles right is should and then will is basically deals with operation should is a strategy and will is a tactics if you see this venn diagram the common areas it will show you the possibilities of the actions which will come out of the operation and then strategy is is good for great for analytics if you are uh, looking at the is and will operations and then tactics and it gives you the interaction and uh, between the will and should design strategy okay right see let us consider a company which have a situation it has to choose either one of this either they have to go with the critical thinking otherwise they design thinking i will give you example what happens when we choose the critical thinking okay that will be good for the result okay if you see it in uh, analytics in analysis wise critical thinking is pretty much good because it follows a template and it follows the convention whatever they are following for a long uh, term and then uh, whatever way they have succeed so far and there will be some sort of a tweaks in between they don't change much but in terms of design thinking the, there is no constraints in critical thinking you have constraints in design thinking the output is not constrained in a particular way you take lot of inputs and finally you have to channelize it and you have to choose the best solution for the problem okay so uh, in the due course you will get to know uh, the difference between this all right so critical thinking it's logical quantity matters it's uh, left brain and then uh, waterfall model okay so we have to check whether it is logical and how much quantity and basically this is decided uh, by the left brain and the method that we follow is a waterfall method okay then design thinking i already told you that it is a human centric approach so empathy insight and it is decided by right brain and then it is agile okay empathy the difference between the sympathy and empathy sympathy is simply your uh, feeling for other but empathy when you are put your legs on their shoes okay if you are in their situation and then if you are understanding what are all the problem that they are facing that is called as empathy so in the design thinking process you have to empathize if you are going to solve a problem for a customer then you have to understand and then you have to undergo what are all the problem they are facing okay this may look pretty simple in comparison but there are a whole lot of meaning for these words these are these words are very powerful okay empathy and then insight what 
kind of right insight you have what is the understanding you have that is very important and this is decided by the right brain and it is agile okay there is a fast movement and it is iterative process it is not something starts from the left and then uh, ends at right okay right hope everyone knows uh, this route right watermelon and moreover we are uh, going to be in the summer the next few months right so <sighs> watermelon what is the difference between this and this the left hand side picture and the right hand side picture just by looking at it uh, what you understand uh madam i hope i'm audible uh, yes sir yeah thank you thank you so <clears throat> the difference between these two is uh, the left hand side is a conventional one and the right hand side is a, a modified one uh, which have uh, a lot of thinking on it right see the left hand side watermelon uh, is uh, only few dollars okay in us if you consider it is only few dollars 1 dollar or 2 dollar but if you consider this uh, watermelon which is in the shape of a cube it is selling at 200 to 300 usd and moreover this is one uh, such kind of a shape okay a uh, cube and they are having different shapes like a heart shape which is selling at 200 to 300 uh, uh, us dollars so this is basically developed by a, a man from japan in 1978 um, what he thought is like why don't we change the shape of the water see he is not changing uh, anything uh, which is inside right even the the material of the outer shell otherwise the inner part he is not going to change anything he is not uh, doing any kind of a genetical modification he simply put a constraint when the watermelon is growing and it takes the shape of the container right whatever container you put that will take that shape okay right and how many of you know about uh, these guys r b and b see <clears throat> they are uh, like uh, a successful uh, entrepreneur and then uh, with the one particular idea even in this case also you can see it's a very uh, silly idea right we might also uh, thought and uh, moreover uh, from our childhood uh, to till date we might have thought so many ideas and we just left out because it is silly right okay this airbnb their concept is started with when they are doing their uh, college higher studies so they don't uh, have uh, money to afford for a very good boarding that means a house because you know that in us and all the house rents are too high right so what they do what they did actually they had one vacant uh, bed in their home and those who are coming for a conference for their university they didn't find the rooms in affordable rate because in hotels and all it is too costly so they rented that particular bed one bed is there right because those who are coming for conference and all they just required to sleep for 8 hours and then they they will be using the bathroom and then they will just going to the uh, conference and they will leave to the airport right they required the accommodation only for few hours not for the whole day so they did this particular thing for uh, one of the uh, member who came for uh, conference uh, to the university and this uh, 
seems to be a pretty good idea for them and then they followed this because so many people are coming to the conference and more over to the cities so many of them are commuting from different places and they required such kind of a service then they started along with that they gave breakfast because their breakfast is also too costly in hotels if you stay they will be giving a compliment breakfast right so they brought in that particular concept and then they identified those are all the rooms which have such kind of a place and then they accumulated the data and then they started this airbnb initially they went on with the renting the bed alone and after that they included the breakfast also it's a billion dollar company and uh, their turnover turnover is uh, pretty high okay right then i hope all of you uh, like bada right so how many of you had uh, uh, vadas for their breakfast okay see we are making this vada for more than uh, 100 years right i don't know i don't know the exact uh, history when they have started uh, making this vada and all but any anyway, from my childhood i am uh, saying this okay i used to consume <laughs> even uh, now in south india it is one of the uh, famous dish in the morning right not only in the morning even for snack also they used to serve this this id company okay they come up with a new product they generally sell the batter for the to make the vadas right so they have uh, the requirement of solving this particular problem because they think from their customer point of view see even though they give the batter but again they have to uh, drop it in the hot oil and uh, moreover the shape may not be appropriate and uh, when the vada is not in a very good shape then it won't be that good right because before uh, when you taste the food your eyes have to accept hope everyone uh, agree with me your eyes have to accept that decides first whether uh, you can put your hand on it or not right before tasting your eyes have to accept right so they come up with this particular uh, packing where they had this uh, a knob okay if you lift it up then you can, if you squeeze then you can directly drop the batter in the oil which gives gives you the perfect shape yeah then how about this so we see lot of designs in and around our day to day life right and moreover the ocean is having lot of mystery the divers identified such kind of a patterns at the bottom of the sea and they wondered who is making such kind of imprints right because it look like a pretty big footprint right so it looks like uh, it is pretty similar to which is made uh, from a, a metal right? they wondered after uh, investigating they found to know that this is made by the puffer fish that fish that fish okay so create such kind of artwork who thought this to it's a nature inspired right this is also 
a designer. The designer is the puffer fish. Okay. Then how about this? The weaver bird, right? It makes its own nest. And who thought this? To that particular bird. And moreover, the choice of the material, what it chooses, it brings in one by one, and then it makes this particular design, right? Okay. The purpose of showing uh, these images to you is like we are looking at the nature every day, but we are forgetting and then we are skipping certain things to notice. But as a product designer or a person who innovate, he always takes the inspire, inspiration from the nature. And this is the one kind of output, which is from the nature, right? Hope you can be able to uh, relate the design between this weaver bird and then this particular chat, right? Okay. Then how about this? A kingfisher bird, right? Uh, can any one of you uh, please guess uh, what is a product which is inspired from this particular bird? So um, I hope that uh, many of you would have guessed it. And this is the outcome. Okay. The bullet trains, which is moving at a greater speed, nearly around 400 km per hour and then 500 km per hour, is inspired from the Kingfisher bird. And I hope you can relate uh, the design features, right? Then how about this? It's a kettle. What is the difference between the normal kettle and this particular kettle? Normal kettle used to be in a cylindrical shape, but even this shape is also available. See, <clears throat> In the morning, when you uh, boil the water in this kettle, especially they use it for uh, making tea. Okay. What happens is like when the steam is coming out of the nozzle, it gives a sound, right? What kind of sound it gives? It gives a sound. is like this, right? So whistle from a cooker and then uh, when the steam is coming out of the nozzle it gives some kind of a sound right and i don't know how many of you used this uh, milk cooker which gives a whistle right it is very similar to that see initially they had kettle without any attachment at the end of the nozzle. Here you can see a bird kind of uh, attachment, right? That is the reason why they have uh, had this. And uh, moreover, the person who have designed this particular kettle is not a proper designer. He is basically an architecture. His background is, he is an architect. So he used the this kind of a cone shape into the kettle. And moreover, he brought in this attachment to this kettle. The purpose of this attachment is it gives you the sound which the bird gives. You can see a bird kind of structure here, right? So in uh, London, these uh, birds will give you a very beautiful sound. So this kettle will mimic that particular sound. 
if the steam is coming out of this nozzle it will give you the bird noise it should be very pleasant to hear in the morning otherwise if you simply uh, getting a sound in the morning means then it will ruin your day right so <clears throat> that, that particular architect used the technique which he used to build the house and uh, mansion villas whatever it may be i hope uh, everyone uh, have uh, noticed such kind of a structure whenever you go to the western countries this uh, triangle structure is quite common right even if you go for church church and then lot of structures have this kind of a triangle shape so he got inspired from that and he introduced that particular uh, technique to make the kettle and moreover he brought in one more a feature of making the sound when the steam comes out of the nozzle into a beautiful sound which mimics the sound of a bird okay right so why we are discussing this because design it should be conceiving and it has to give a form of artifact which should solve a problem design is not something like uh, should not be something which you made uh, out of a paper uh, simply by crushing it and then giving it right so it should conceive and moreover it should form a artifact it should look good along with solving the problem our main objective is to solve the problem but it has to be yeah artifact okay so the meaning of artifact when a human give a shape to something either it may be a tool or a work of art whatever that is called as artifact right okay so what is missing here hope it is a straight forward question so once so repeat the question what we are supposed to have it in the place of uh, question mark So any guesses or any answers? So it's a straightforward question. Uh, don't think very complicated. so many of them say six and some say r okay six is the answer okay right and how about this this is a message i sent to my uh, to my wife and daughter today morning what is this alphabet yeah it is alphabet but it have some meaning otherwise uh, why should i send it to my uh, wife so that should be something in it right so there is a connection between the previous question and this here also something is missing so i have uh, given you the is, yes exactly yes exactly 
<clears throat> you is missing. So what it conveys? So it conveys a message, right? I miss you. Am I right? Think about it, whether it is convincing for you or not. So this is the touch of a designer. Okay. Otherwise, a person who thinks uh, critically and then uh, innovation, thinking and how to uh, bring in such kind of elements into our day-to-day -day action. Okay. Even though, you see, I can simply send uh, the message, I miss you. It is straightforward, right? But it is quite normal. If I practice in such a way so that I can use the elements, what I am looking in other field into the day-to-day -day life, then this will create the habit of the creativity, right? And then relating the logic, how we can frame such kind of a vision, how we utilize it in our daily life. This has to be a habit. It is not something you do it from nine to five and then you switch over. So a designer or an innovator need to have this quality. Okay, so in order to do this, there is a famous technique which is utilized by many of the top company and it is very successful. The technique is scamper. Okay, we have so many techniques, but in order to raise questions, if you want to make a product, then we need to have some sort of procedure and this is one kind of a procedure what many people uh, follows okay it's called as a scamper so s for substitute c for combine a for adapt m for modify p for put to another use e eliminate and r rearrange if i see substitute then uh, what comes to your mind? For example, substituting a particular material. Instead of using a metal, if I use plastic in that place, then it's a substitution, right? Okay. So by asking so many questions, to ourselves in order to find the answers we have certain guide question which is shown here okay under the title of substitute what i'm supposed to ask and what are all the answers i have to arrive at okay the first one these are examples you can use a few more questions also i just given uh, some of the questions. What can I substitute so as to make an improvement? In order to make some sort of improvement, what is the element that I have to change? Instead of that, if you replace it with some other uh, element, then definitely it gives improvement. Correct? So we have to answer to this question. What can I substitute so as to make an improvement in a particular product? Then how can I substitute the place, time, material, or people, whether I have to change the operator, whether I have to change the machine, whether I have to change the material, whether I have to shift the uh, timing instead of a day shift, if I want to uh, have it as a night shift or location-based. Can I substitute one part of another or change any parts? Can I replace it? 
Can I change the rules? Can I change the brand name? Can I use different material, different ingredient? And what sort of the process that I'm going to use? What is the procedure? Shape, color, and the texture of the material, and sound it makes, and what kind of a smell? And the idea of how can I use the idea for other projects? The example what we have uh, saw in the case of a kettle. I told that it is inspired from the the building, right? The triangle shape. So, like that, how we are going to bring in the other ideas into our product. Otherwise, the way how we feel that particular product, and then uh, the way how we handle it, and the attitude towards it. So, if you ask such many questions. Before starting to design any kind of a product, these questions will help you in order to get the answers. So, out of those answers, you can easily channelize it to the next level. Okay, then substitute the one uh, method, one part. Next is combine. We can combine different ideas, materials, features. See, more or less, if you see, the questions will have similar kind of words, but it have a proper meaning. Under which heading you are asking the question? Okay, whether you are asking the question to substitute or to combine. Okay. Which material could I combine? Where can I build synergy? What are the best elements I can bring in together? Adapt. Which part of the product could I change? Could I change the characteristics of the component? Which idea I can adapt? Which idea I can copy or borrow it from other people's product? What process should I adapt? Then I can adapt a context or a target group. And then modify. It's magnifying and minimizing. You can do it in both. Modifying the size. For example, if you are having a, a product which is 10 centimeter tall, if you want to scale it up. So a simple example is let us take 15 centimeter scale and then 30 centimeter scale. If you want to magnify it, and if you are uh, going for a uh, 50 centimeter scale, otherwise even you want to minimize it, or if you want to make it large, okay. Otherwise, which part I can tell it or tone down, and what are all the extra features I add, and what is the value that I'm going to add to it, okay, and put to another use. See, certain products have multiple purposes, right? The best example uh, I can give you at this time is a mobile. Mobile is initially, the purpose of the mobile is to attend the call and then make a call. But now it is not like that, right? It has so many features in it. It can be used as a camera, it is used for recording, and it is used for uh, doing the internet banking and browsing, so many things were embedded into it, right? So like that, the product, what you are making, you have to see the options, whether it is used for another thing, okay? And eliminate. whether you are allowed to remove certain part without altering the original uh, components. So initially, let us consider that it have 10 components. So if you are removing one component, then you have to check whether the purpose is still solved or not, right? Whether it is meeting out the purpose or not. Shall I reduce the time or components? Shall I 
shall i cut down the cost simplify it eliminate some kind of rules and make it smaller and finally rearrange see we are allowed to rearrange certain things can i interchange the uh, components otherwise the layout the schedule shall i work it out in the reverse direction So please remember the word scamper. So whenever uh, you are uh, going for a new design or uh, a product, then you can utilize these equations. These are examples, as I said earlier, and you can choose the appropriate question, and then you can try to find out the answer for that. So that that will give you the a proper shape. So this procedure. is to arrive at a particular idea okay right <clears throat> see whenever you think of a product we have to keep three things in mind one is human values and next one is feasibility and then the viability So as I said earlier, design thinking is a human-centered approach, right? Whatever we do, whatever uh, modification that will uh, bring into our product, that has to add value to the user. It should give all kind of a comfort for the person who is going to use it. So human value values. Uh, uh it's uh, usability and desirability as i said we have to add values and then feasibility it uh, how we are going to make it what are all the technologies we have whether we have to adapt a new technology otherwise the technology what is available right now is sufficient for us to make the modification or uh, make the product and finally the viability whether we have a potential business for the product what we are making for example <clears throat> if you are making a product which is used only in the moon then who will buy it who is the target audience there who is the uh, customer we have very limited numbers correct but if i design a product or make a product which is utilized in earth then have so many customers right so we have to look at the sample size of the customers also whether it is viable whether we have a potential business or not see problem solving is the main objective but it should not bring a new problem into it okay so we should not transform from the bad to worst so we have to be very careful in so when you combine this there you have to bring in the innovation then only this is achievable if you want to make these things possible then you have to bring in the innovation ingredient into this particular design process am i right so okay so far we have uh, covered uh, the process and then uh, some uh, techniques okay uh, shall we go for a break uh, for 5 minutes is that fine yes sir yeah because uh, Uh, i don't know how uh, audience are feeling since uh, i'm not able to see them if i see them directly then i can easily understand their pulse but now uh, since we are in virtual and uh, moreover i i don't have provision to see them so i don't know so because of that reason i uh, request you to give 5 minutes break and that 5 minutes 
in that five minutes you have i'm giving you uh, work for two minutes okay so literally you have only three minutes break so it's not very hard so i request all the participants to think who you are okay not more than two minutes who you are the question is pretty simple who you are so after the break we will see what kind of answers that we are getting from the participants what is the time now wow. 10 15 or sir okay can you please remind me after uh, four minutes yes sir sure yeah thank you i am in the line so so i am connected to the line so this is a break for uh, our participants okay thank you for time being i'll stop sharing the screen i'll share it after uh, four minutes thank you hello well yes ma'am sir uh, from the department of csc i thank dr v leela vinodan sir for sparing his time with us and given given a wonderful session on design thinking critical thinking and innovation thinking thank you very much sir bhuvana yes ma'am yeah ma start the vote of thanks ma okay ma'am thank you very much sir your words are really thought provoking you have told us many things and uh, it is really helpful that how we can change our surroundings with small thoughts thank you for spending your valuable time with us and sharing your thoughts at last on behalf of csc department i would like to extend my thanks to the director dr v s k reddy sir principal dr srinivas rao sir dean of student affairs dr venu gopal sir head of the csc department dr shanti ma'am for conducting this event in the view of welfare of students i would also like to thank the support staff because any event cannot be successful without people who devote their resources and time to ensure that everything is flawless at last i also thank my dear student committee for taking part in this program i also thank my student committee for taking part in this program and making this event successful thank you everyone <laughs>